the other benefit of doing this is this Google sitemap thing. Um, we've got a sitemap here. It's a comes out in something called an XML file, which is just something that's readable by Google. So it basically just lists all the pages on our on on the site, loads and loads of different um, URLs, and it, it just allows it to map out the site so that it can make sense of it and index it. Because Google's got two ways of working out what's on your website. It will just visit your site like a normal user and just click through the links and record what's on each one. So it will just go to Haberdashery and then it will crawl and then it will go to Scissors and it will store those pages and then it will click on this. Um, but obviously the one that we created with um, this Twilly's Freedom Gorgeous things like the acorn colour um, there's no way of getting to them there's no, there's no way of getting to that product because it's not it's, it's a way of, of people reaching the site from Google it's not a way of the site um, it's not really a page on the site it's just it's just a door in it's another another entry point for the site um, so there's no way of getting there so Google's never going to find it that way um, but what it does have is under the, your webmaster tools for your site which is already set up you've got site configuration you've got something called site maps and all it does is I've told Google where your site map is um, it's got 378 already listed and it's indexed 18 of them so far but this you've got about 2000 products so what would be really nice is if it knows about all the other all the other products that you've got on your site rather than just these 378 um, because you've got plenty more than that and the reason it, it, it thinks you've only got them is that if you go to your um, products all of this product list here there you go, you've got 2,123 different products on your site, that's a lot and that's good, you could be selling loads of them um, but if we look at the visibility catalogue search you can see most of them were nowhere but now when you put catalog search you've got 346 so there you go, that shows you why that site map has only got 346 because there, there isn't a page for the, the other things things like the acorn coloured wall, there's no, there's no page for it to go to um, but what that's done now is if you go to Google site map here yeah, and generate the new one because we've changed the visibility on that site and there's now a page for it that acorn should have been included in it you should compliment me maybe not um, Okay, I need to find out why that's not in there, but it should be included um, in that site map. Uh, I have to find out what's going on there. But that that's the basis of it. Um, I've also incru included something called canonical names. Um, but there's loads of different ways to get to this page. Um, if we go to source you've got in here it shows you that there's a specific address that's for that product um, and the reason why is there's a hundred ways to get to your site see I've changed the address there and this is at the same page I could change it again um, and that 
might be the same page. I'll change it again. And that would be the same page. And Google's got no way of knowing that actually it's looking at exactly the same thing. All it sees is lots and lots of duplication in your site and it thinks it's trying to trick that you're trying to trick it. But what it does with this canonical names is it gives it irrespective of how you got there, it says this is these are the same all of these are the same page here. They are all effectively this page. So it stops it thinking it's being tricked and and basically improves your ranking. But that that's been added in now, so it's not something you need to worry about, but just thought I'd let you kinda know. Um, this is, there's another thing that you could do to really really increase traffic on your site well actually not on your site but just get more and more sales and, and, and that's to set up a Amazon and an eBay store um, and tie it all in it would be, it'd be really quite simple to take all your products that you've got on here and put them in into a package that you could upload to eBay and Amazon you might see I think you'd probably find that actually you're getting similar levels of sale on, on places like Amazon and eBay every day as you're getting on your main site um, and it, it, it won't do this site any damage either in terms of the amount of sales you get off this because you'll get known um, for for selling walls, Ray Stitch and people will search for that name more um, and I think that's that's about it okay I hope that helps cheers bye